What were you checking on GTA? Oh, uh, just... Um... I was just checking how much money I got on there. Do you have a lot? I have quite a bit, yeah. What do you do with that money on there? Um... Sometimes I upgrade my penthouse. Yes. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can upgrade with your penthouse and stuff like that. Your casino penthouse. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, oh my god. Oh. Wow. A former Minnesota what? Vikings linebacker, um, Matt Blair, passed away today. Wow. Was he a good... Was he a good Viking? Um... I don't know, because I didn't really experience him, but... I never really experienced him playing, but... This is a chest right there. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? Yeah, he played from 1974 to 1985, so... Ooh, there's another... More, more purple here, yay! Okay, got more stuff with them all now. Ooh. Let's see if we can raise that power level on it. Let's see, he was born September twentieth, nineteen fifty, and he died today. So that would have made him he would have been he would have been seventy. Yeah. September of nineteen fifty, died today. Yeah. At least he had a pretty fulfilling life. Right? Yeah, yeah, yep. Alright, I gotta save this guy in the tank. Ooh, more of this chem tech now, see? Yeah, I'm working on my Kamala Yeah. Even though Hulk's almost at a hundred. I'd rather... Get Kamala up there more. Yeah. I'm trying to see yeah, if I... Oh, sorry. I know AJ's taking a break from Hulk. I'm gonna use Kamala more than I'll use Hulk. You know? Yeah. Um, I don't know who I'm gonna play it because right now I just don't feel like it's useless to play a store right now. Well, how about you come with me and how about we how about we work on your your lower characters? You and I can do lower character missions. We can go gear hunting. Yeah, together. yeah, that's fine. I'm just saying, I'm right? Play, if I'm gonna play Kamala, then pick someone else that's not. At your at your normal high level, and we'll yeah. we'll work on them. Yeah, I'm just and saying, right? Is, yeah, is forty something, right? Um, yeah, something like that. I'm just saying, right? Her... Right now, it's useless to play as him because everything well, yeah, in his. Him, dude, you should be proud. I mean, what we need to do is you need to be like me now. Get more care. Me and Jimbo have multi almost all our characters at 140, so we need to get you to that point. Getting your other characters up there, you know. Because then yeah. when you do the mega hunt, you can have up to four people if you die, then you have four, five, six different options to choose from. Yeah. Ooh, my faction's right. Up. Like right now, oh, I, leveled up. Come on, I, I got all my gear and my uh, minor out art artifacts to 140. Now I just gotta get my major artifact, but I don't have any polys, so right now is like a useless time to be him. So, you know what, let's just switch to Widow. Widow's 55. 
almost done with. Okay, so I'm done with the primary page. Um, okay. And, ooh, that will give Spirit Walk recovers 65% willpower. Nine. Oh, I can get her higher though. Hold up. Are you checking Widow? Mm hmm. Ooh, that's awesome. So this means that Kamala can heal herself and won't need to use use a teammate's help. Alright, now she's at 58. Okay. Ooh, that's good. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, where's my challenge card for Kamala at right now? I'm good. Okay, 2%. Defeat cryo or range enemies. Um, there we go. Yeah, I just Defeat thought, like, right enemies. now, it's like a useless time to beat Thor because I got all my gear and my two little crystals things to 140, so, and I don't have any polys to get my major artifacts to Well, yeah, no, I'm done with max all my faction stuff. missions until tomorrow, so that's why I'm not playing Widow right now because Widow's at 149. Caps, I could work on Caps. But he's already in the 140s. Everyone's in the 140s. So my goal is to get another character up in the 140s. If I have more to use. Like Jim Buchan, it's good to have variety. Yep. And since Austin hasn't been playing for a while, it gives me a chance to actually really get to experience. Right, uh, right, right, right. Yep. Got him. She is pretty fun to play as. I'm actually having a good time. And dude, I'm gonna be honest. In my life, I don't think I ever had this much fun playing a specific game. Oh well, yeah, no, dude. I play this game like the reason I play this game for seven, even without new content, is because I love this game. But like, people get mad at me for playing this game, they're not playing other games with them. I'm like. I love this game. I, it's hard to play other games because this I, is the uh, game I've always wanted, and and now yeah. that it's actually here, it's just awesome to be able to have that. Oh, we got we got enemies over here. We'll get the question mark in a second. Let's take care of the city. Yeah, I'm actually going big into this one. That's the one thing that's really fun about Kamala in this movie. Being able to get be giant is awesome. Ooh, I got another skill point. Oh wow, Kamala hasn't even reached um, regular level 50 yet. So I still have a chance to get her there. Because I still have skill points to earn for her. Nice. Yeah, I'll club back in your strike team. I'm just going to go take a look at the... Substation Zero real quick. No worries. I'll definitely come back though. Hold up. I'm still doing I'm still doing a mission right now, so you take all the time you need, man. I'm just shrinking pools right now. Where are my takedowns? Well oh, I like that takedown, that's awesome. Get it all protect them. I'm bring them down. We got dead bots. High five time. Don't use the other ability and let's get the other thing down. How about it? How about dead bots? Jump on them.
I'm down. Right, now we can go more deer hunting. Where's our first question? I was not see what question was this way. Let's go exploring. Seeing anything good at Substation Zero? Uh. Are you buying mm. more gear or something, or what was the. Yeah, I was looking. I didn't even think about that. Since I'm using a low level character, I could buy more gear. Better gear for Kamala, technically. I didn't even think about that. I'm just doing missions right now, but I could buy other gear that could speed up the process and say better. Yeah, I have no idea what time Jimbo's gonna come back. He said he was gonna rest his eyes, and he'll probably be back at some point. I let I gave everyone an invite to this new party I made. Everyone has access to come if they're ready. And if it's another night of just you and me, cool. We always kill it, you know. You know it'll be mm -hmm. kind of fun getting our other characters up there, getting us a chance to play as other characters. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just killing time till Kate's in here, man. Right. And it would be good to have an arsenal of characters for when we get the super adaptoids in and all that other stuff. Bring it down. Step, not step on the panels. That's weird. Maybe that, uh, must be one of those weird things. The molecule will do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. They're working now. Is the part ready? No. So it won't let me go to the Really weird. Super weird. Oh wow, well, there's nothing I really need to do. I don't think it's I've moved up to this top one. Oh, this door? Got it. Now it's back in the air. Can't even sue me because I don't have money now. It's hilarious. Alright, 10%, 14% on both of those. Ooh, 20% on my other one? Okay. Alright, let me. I'm about to join you now. Happy that I got at least. Oh, I didn't think about that. I think he that off, but like, I couldn't pass. Oh, but Cryo is bad. I mean, Fuse isn't so bad to have. Let's upgrade my Fuse and get our max level from this Oh, that's 41. Alright. Drawing it up. Way better improvements, so let's get rid of that. Right, you're joining the strike team now? <laughs> yep, I'm coming back. Oh, right. Our flow grade. Oh, we got lots of good stuff here though. 33, 33, 36. And that one's maxed out. Yeah, it's okay. just. Right now is just a useless time to beat Thor, unless we're going to be doing like high level missions. Yeah, which we're not doing that right now, so you're, you're okay with what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, no, we're going to do pretty low scale missions because we're trying to just... Ooh, 
Yeah, Jimbo keeps telling me he's really impressed, and I was like, dude, I owe it all to you. Yep. Because he, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. Oh yeah, you showed him the... Showed you the way, and you... Paid his kindness. Oh wait, did I get another... Drop? That's only 34, though. I'll be way better. Oh, no, that's 26. Stop. As good as it could be. Okay, let's see. 36, 40, and I need more. Let's see. 10%. Okay, so. Oh yeah, by the way, AJ did respond back. He just said, oh. He said, oh? <laughs> yep. That's all, huh? Yep. Surprised you didn't laugh. I thought that was pretty funny. He must have been too tired to really give his full reaction. Oh boy. I got another hidden chest. Watson! Units. Resources. Isn't there always an elite man in unit? Oh, wow. Yeah. Alex is working Halloween with me. He starts works eleven to four, I work two thirty to nine. Are they gonna oh. let you guys dress are they gonna let you guys dress up? I don't know. Do they usually? Not that I know of. I'm not positive though. I haven't worked like a like a just got the job in November of last year, so I don't know. That's true. So you really haven't worked on Halloween yet. Yeah, I remember I just got the job just as Terminator Dark Fate was coming out. And that was like the oh, very yeah. that was like the very first free movie I saw. Which I thought was definitely one of the best Terminator movies in years, but that's not really saying a whole lot. It still was an enjoyable film. Really it still was an enjoyable movie. Like it, I do agree with the critics who say that it's the best Terminator movie in years. Grant uh, again. That's because the other movies that came out were just. Well, yep. Can't have too many questions like that. 
Oh wait, I can't see anything because the panel is probably gonna work. This is probably the building I've already been to. That you can be working with Alex for that day. Mm -hmm. You guys can actually have conversations about things. Mm -hmm. Alex likes to talk about a lot of cool movie things. Like you should ask him about. You should ask him about how excited he is to to see Fast and the Furious in in space. In Fast and the Furious 9, he told me he was super excited about that. <laughs> oh, aerial enemies? I got you. You're trash. I'm just curious to see how Han survived. Like I said, I'm stick with my original theory. I think he was reprogrammed by the same people that made, um, made Edris Elba's character in Hobbs and Shaw the way he was. Look, I think they did something to make him like some sort of super soldier. Oh, I just got a sweet new Kamala nameplate. I mean, there's a lot of theorizing going around that people think he could maybe be the villain of the movie. Get the people back for using the uh, getting the people back for betraying him for the per for the guy who he they thought killed him. Yep. Yeah. Um. I heard. I heard a couple theories about that. Yeah, I don't think it's a crazy theory. I I, I don't at all. I think it's. Could be yeah, I think possible. It's definitely pretty, pretty possible. Oh yeah, I should check my name plate. I think that's what I'm doing. Name plate. Oh, I passed it. It's not good. What's this new name plate I got? Oh, that's cool. Her blowing bubbles. <laughs> Her blowing bubbles. <laughs> or like not blowing bubbles, but she's got bubble gum. Oh, I like that. That's cool. That's a cool name for it. She's blowing a bubble from, from Mike when you are chewing bubble gum. Hmm. Let's see uh, what uh, middle name plates do I have? Oh, I have that awesome one that you got today. I thought that was so awesome. Oh, the widow one. Yep. With the multi with the multi colors, yeah, that one's pretty good. Okay, Jake, we'll be reuniting soon because I just found the um, bolt. I another hidden chest I needed. Jeez. I can't wait to see Kamala's friendship with Spider-Man in this game when he comes in. Oh, this one was cool too. Yeah, I'm sick with that one. What are my challenge cards for Widow though? What do I got? Um... Knock down, tip, or spin, non-robotic 
enemies. Defeat enemies with power attacks. Defeat enemies with takedowns. And rescue ca captured hostages. Okay. Those are pretty easy ones. Oh, I like the widow with the white hair. Are you buying that one? Well, I've had it. Oh, I thought when you, I thought when Dragon had it, that you were like, that you were surprised to see it. I didn't realize I had it. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. Make me think of... In... Oh, not that. Uh... Hmm. Let me look. Hmm. The, her with the white hair kind of makes me think of Infinity War and Endgame Widow. Yeah, even though she was blonde. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. She was actually blonde, yeah. I want blonde haired widow. Yeah, that w one of mine, there, there is a blonde haired one, I can't remember which one it is. Oh, I like the Dust Walker one because that kind of looks, makes her look like what she's going to look like in the new movie. Yeah, that one's great. Yeah, my favorite suit for Widow is the suit I bought for her today. Mmm. It's the Striker one. Let me take a look. and see what kind of goods you left inside. Cool. This nameplate for Widow School. Hold on, I gotta equip that. Roll three, one. There it is. I like that one. The nameplate you got for her, you like? Mm hmm. It's in the marketplace. I bought it. What well, one was it? Was that the one where she, um, where she was in Russia? You'll see when you, I don't know, like, it's, Timeless Iron Man suit. That is awesome. You gonna buy that one? Yeah. You know what? For
for a match, just for one match, I'm going to play as Iron Man because I want to try that suit. Just for What's one. Iron Man power level at? 27, but I'll get higher. Oh, yeah. Get good gear, you'll get good stuff. Hold on. Like I said, it's good to try different characters. We can't have that. Oh, there you go. Timeless. Oh, I'd love it. I'd love it. That is awesome. Oh, and I have that badass nameplate for Iron Man that you have. I may use that one. I didn't realize I had that one. Oh, 28 now. Oh, that is sick. I love that out. I love that costume. Which one is it? The one you got for Iron Man? Yeah. Yeah, the timeless. It's in his marketplace. It's awesome. It's oh, yeah, gold. It's that gold and black. Yeah, that one's pretty awesome. I saw that one. I'll probably buy that one when I get more credits. Dang it. Reset. Wait, what it resets. Oh, I gotta know what John thinks about the idea of uh, um, Jared Little come back. Hold on, yeah, I I talked Trevor down out of that once. That was good. I knew he was being pissy about it, so I was like...
globe we call planet Earth to have always appreciated, and I like, I don't care what anybody else says, I like Jared Leto's Joker. Do I like it as good as Heath's Joker? No. Do I like it as good as Jack's Joker? No. Do I like it as much as Joaquin's Phoenix? Uh, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker? No. But I like Joaquin, I like um, Jared Leto's Joker. I think it was a fun, different take on Joker that made it totally unique from everybody else's, and my favorite parts of Suicide as much of a hot mess that movie is, I still had fun with it. But as much of a hot mess of a movie, my favorite parts of that movie was this twisted, toxic, awful, codependent, nasty relationship between Harley Quinn, played by Margot Robbie, and his Joker. I ate it up. So I always love that stuff. There are two things I want to talk about. Okay. Two very important points I want to make. And they're going to seem like they're completely opposite, but they're actually not. They go hand in hand, and one is because of the other. The first point I want to make to lay some groundwork here is this settles it. This whole thing about, you know, this whole debate about was the Zack Snyder cut ever a complete thing? Obviously it wasn't. Right. I mean, I spent almost two years being screamed at by people that it's done, it's ready to go. Zack Snyder said it was finished. Zack Snyder has never said any such thing. Zack Snyder is not a liar. But I, I don't, like, I, thousands and thousands and thousands. It's done, it's finished. Like, no, there's not. There is not a finished, completed Snyder cut that all Warner Brothers has to do is snap their fingers and release it. He's got a cut. He edited, I mean, he worked on it forever. He showed the Warner Brothers executives his cut of the film years ago. But it's not a finished film. Then they did a bunch of, re they announced they're going to do reshoots. But what's interesting is when they first announced that HBO was going to pick this up, I've been saying for six months they should do that. When HBO announced that they were going to pick it up, they initially said there's not going to be any additional photography. They said they're going to just do some odd, some, some, you know, some ADR. They're going to uh -huh. do some audio pickup. Uh -huh. But then that turned into, no, now they're going to do some additional shooting. And a bunch of people was like, oh, but I thought Zack Snyder said he was done shooting. Uh, My defense of that, though, is that any movie, any big blockbuster movie, once it's done shooting, will be given an opportunity to do some reshoots and some pickup shooting. Every movie has that opportunity. No reason Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League should not also have that opportunity. Right? But now comes this thing that Jared Leto now they're adding Jared Leto into it. By the way, nothing was ever shot with Jared. Variety confirmed this today, that Jared Leto there was never shot anything for the original Justice League. So now they're adding Jared Leto. We'll talk about that in just a second. This brings us back to something that the, the head of HBO and the head of Warner Media, Bob, I believe you pronounce his name, hey, Greenblatt, who's the chairman of Warner Media and the head of all things HBO. When he said this, and I think this sheds some more light on this, it isn't easy, it isn't as easy as going to the vault and there's a Snyder Cut sitting there to put, point, to put out, Greenblatt said, it does not exist. Zach is actually building it. Like mm -hmm. now, Zach is building what is the Snyder Cut and it's complex, including new VFX, Shots, it is a, listen to this, it is a radical rethinking of that movie. And it's complicated and wildly expensive. I'll just say, I wish it was just 30 million and stop there. Reports are saying it's actually closer to 70 million now. It's an enormous undertaking and very complex. Again, this is the head of Warner Media. Let's read this comment again. It isn't as easy as going to the vault and there's a matter cut sitting there to put out. Greenblatt said, it does not exist. Zach is actually building it. And it's complex, including the effect shots. It's a radical rethinking of that movie. And it's complicated and wildly expensive. I'll just say I wish it was $30 million and stop there. It's an enormous undertaking, very complex. Some reports saying, you know, it's like $70 million. I think what is very, very clear here, now that we look at these comments light of the, the recent developments because these comments were made about three months ago 
that Bob said this. Really? Yeah, these oh. comments were made about three months ago. Oh, wow. But I think everybody, including myself, kind of glossed over some of the words he was saying. Like when he's saying, this is now, this isn't what was originally shot. Look at these words. It's a radical rethinking of that movie. Zach's actually just building the movie now. So what this tells me is that even people like me who said, yeah, he shot the movie, but it's just not ready to go out. Even I underestimated how truly unfinished this whole Zider, uh, Zack Snyder cut has really been and how actually different this thing that comes out on HBO is going to be from what Zack originally was going to do. That's point number one. This is a very different project. That, it's, uh, it's irrefutable. I mean, again, we just go to the head of Warner Media. No, it, this is a radical rethinking of this movie. We're spending a, a $70 million. That's more than most movies cost to make in their entirety. You hear that, Jake? Seventy Jared million Leto's dollars. Joker. There had mm-hmm. been rumors previously that Jared Leto's Joker might have popped up in it, but that was never that was never actually done. It was you never shot. That At least that's what Brian is saying this morning. It was never done. It was never shot. Right? This is a brand new thing. Mm. All right. But here's the second point. And Marvel has a lot of money. Like mm-hmm. that you're gonna think is opposite to the first point, but I'm gonna actually tell you it's connected. This is all good news. Oh, this, yeah. this is all good news. I don't think that's opposite. No. Well, I was waiting for a PowerPoint presentation. No, no that, that makes mean, a lot of sense. No, of if it's not this, if it's not that, then no. This is all good news. Listen, I'm sitting here telling you. Right, remember when they first came out and announced that they were going to be actually doing contrary to what they originally said in the HBO announcement, which was we're just going to do audio needs to be picked mm-hmm. up. When they later came out and said, we're actually going to do actual in front of camera reshoots, I said, this is not a bad thing. Every director is given an opportunity to do reshoots, pick up shooting, and all that kind of stuff. This is a good thing. Number two, I am one of the few fans of Jared Leto's Joker, so I am personally very happy about this. I've always wanted to see him come back and play Joker again. I don't know if it's going to be good or not. Maybe this won't be a fit. But I'm excited about this. I think this is good news. And now that we look back at the head of Warner Media saying this is a radical rethinking, we're, we're spending way all this money, all this kind of stuff, this is also a good thing. Because, listen, as much as people don't want to acknowledge this, Warner Brothers did not like Zack Snyder's Justice League at first. They really didn't like it. They didn't like it so much that they made Joss Whedon come in and change a whole bunch of it. That's how much they didn't like it. Now they're getting something that they like even more. And by the way, Zack Snyder's a filmmaker. That means, you know, filmmakers always say they're never really truly done with their movie. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Zack Snyder has had years to think about, oh, I did this originally. Mm-hmm. You know what? I've got a better idea now. Mm-hmm. He has had years to come up with new ideas. To, and, and by the way, he got a chance to watch the theatrical cut of Justice League, which made me go, no, I, I didn't like that. I would have done this. It gave me, he's had years to come up with new ideas and new approaches and different ways to tackle this thing and look the bottom line is this the debate is over there was never a finished Snyder cut and actually it was way less finished than even I thought it was this is going to be kind of a different thing from what Zack Snyder's original vision was but that's not a bad thing we're getting Jared Leto back as Joker he's getting to do these reshoots he's getting 70 million dollars to Take any brand new ideas he had before and incorporate them in. This is a win. This is a win. If you are somebody, <clears throat> and, 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 this, is, this is one other thing, but if you are somebody who's been looking forward to a Zack Snyder, a different vision, a different version of that Justice League movie, 
I say this is good news after good news after good news. I think this is all positive. And that's exactly and what I'm going to say on the show tomorrow. I'm very curious <laughs> to see. And I don't want to sound pessimistic. I'm not jaded at all. No. But what I'm very curious to see at this point is how many of these people out there who have constantly bashed on Jared Leto's Joker. And it's fine. So film is all subjective, right? We love some things, we hate other things. That's all fair. But I am curious to see how many people who have really hated the Jared Leto's Joker at this point, but they're fans of Snyder Cut, are magically now going to go, oh no, I actually always liked the idea. And now suddenly they're going to think it's great that Jared Leto is playing Joker. And I'm going to go, bandwagoner! Mm-hmm. I've been on the Jared Leto train as Joker forever, and I've taken a lot of heat for that. But I get it. It's going to be interesting to see how many people flip the coin now and say, oh, no, I think Jared Leto's Joker's great, because now Zack Snyder's going to put him in the Snyder Cut. Or they're going to say, oh, well, now the Snyder Cut's ruined because Jared Leto's going to be in it. You know what? There might be some of those. I guarantee you there's going to be those people. You're wrong. There there may actually be somebody, people out there, whose hatred of Jared Leto's Joker is going to supersede their love of the idea of watching a Snyder Cut and they may actually flip the coin the other way you're right for me I think this is good news I think the sounds of this Justice League miniseries for me is actually getting better and better and better and well, yeah, to, to hear release, like, this approach episode, that they're taking right? I think so, sounds great anyway to think Aaron, of it this way, right? you heard about he's only going to probably be in one of those three episodes right? Mm-hmm. Isn't that the plan? Is that going to be three parts? Yeah, I think so. Um, I per- per- have never but... seen Jared Leto. Okay, oh, sorry, let me rephrase I've it. I've never seen Suicide Squad. I know you're not the biggest fan of Jared Leto. But, what do you think about this news? Like, what was the first thing that popped into your head when you when you heard about this? I, I thought, great, they're expanding the world. And, and you know, we, with the last time that I was here that I participated, in this conversation because you know you've had many of them but with the last time that I participated I said you know the second that this went from being uh, Zack Snyder's film to Zack Snyder's miniseries inevitably we knew that there was going to be additional content that had to be filmed um, because it was never going to be a four hour movie or even original cut well, you know, a lot of good stuff that, oh, I, I love you that is, it was never going to be sliced into individual right. segments right. and so if it was going to be a continuous four or even five hour film it still wouldn't have as we have come to know narrative television to be you know in indiv- individual episodes of a beginning middle and an end and then a cliffhanger into the next episode and so in order to create that kind of narrative yeah you I, have to I be think I understand the point film. now alright <laughs> Yeah, I get the point. The point that they're trying to make? Yeah. I agree with everything John said. He's right. Mm-hmm. Plus, I like Jared Leto's Joker, so I don't think that it should be getting as much hate as people did. You know, I bought a, I bought a shirt for that, for that movie that had... Jared Lowe's Joker, and on the shirt it said, I'm not going to kill you, I'm just going to hurt you. Really, really bad. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright. You know, I love I love that idea. I don't know why people have to be so negative. You see I'm back in the strike team with you now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't even know I had that badass nameplate that yeah, I saw you had. I, I was like, one. no, the Iron Man one too. Oh yeah, this one. So oh, just... and I got the one that um, Jimbo had earlier that I very liked. This one. Ooh, I'll be there in a second. I'm just the I'm one with confused. Tony's face. Oh yeah, I'm just trying to take the gear off. Oh yeah, that one's a good one. I thought you were going to buy something from the marketplace, I feel like. 
I want to show you that other Thor one from earlier that I that I bought. Yeah, yeah. Let me see where it is I find it. I bought it. I think it's right here, actually. You see that? Oh yeah, I think I have that one too. You have that one? Did you buy that one in the in the store with the eye patch and everything? Um, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Hey. They they dropped some more prices on things in the store too. It's only three fifty for the dark fane suit the widow. That's pretty awesome. So that's a blue version of her shield outfit. Pretty cool throw in the plate in the marketplace. What about Oh man. So it's seven hundred for the champion Thor skin. That's not too bad. Six hundred for takedown, that's way better than twelve. Ooh, Punisher and and War Machine. No, Punisher and um, Hulk is only 50 credits for that nameplate. Pretty decent capture of the nameplates. Suit you 700. Ooh, that Iron Man nameplate's pretty sweet. Where he's where it's Tony, but then he's holding the Iron Man helmet, and then it's got the reflection of his first suit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know if I'll buy it though. I, th I like it, but I don't think I need to buy it. Ooh, that's a cool Thor nameplate too. Though. I like that one where it looks like he's getting ready to strike with the hammer. Ooh, I'm gonna buy this for Thor, but that's only three fifty. Why not? Now we have hundred fifty left, but it's worth it. So I bought. Here's what I bought for Thor. Give me a second. Where is the suit? It's over here somewhere. I bought the Battle Guard for Thor. Ooh, I really like that one. Ooh, with the red and the black, that looks awesome. And with the helmet? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, hold on, let me see. I'm pretty sure you have that suit. I just I just didn't have it yet, so I had to buy it. Oh, uh, what was it? The battle guard. Battle guard. Let me see. Oh, Kamal went up. How did I get her at 141? I don't remember her going to 141. Nice. Oh, oh yeah, I have it, yep. I figured you did. I was like, ah, oh, he's probably got that one. Let's go to Substation Zero real quick. I want to... Oh, where is Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what kind of stuff they got for Kamala. Yeah, I can see what they got for Tony, too. Oh, yeah, because I know that... Since we're playing as characters that were lower, then we can actually do a lot of benefit from that.
Yeah, John made some great points with that. With that video. But that's insane, especially because TV episodes, dude. Three hour TV episodes. Seventy billion dollars. Like, do you realize how crazy that is? Mm. Is there anything you want from from this one that you're seeing? Let me see. There's also Roy that also has more gear on this thing too. Did that guy have anything for your, um, your Kamala? You're checking this guy out. something and most of my Kamal gear is 40. I just buy more upgrade modules with this thing. Buy everything you wanted to. Yeah. Hold on. Let's go back to. I want to see something. Oh fuck, dude! Noise. I'll wait. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back to the helicopter because I wanted to. Um, I want to see if she updated any of her. Um, any of her stuff. I got more stuff I want to buy. I'm just getting ready to sip his soda, you pop, huh? Huh? You get ready to sip that soda pop? <clears throat> Ooh, I like that Widow name plate. Yeah. Do you choose you're gonna be Widow instead of Iron Man then? Yeah. I thought you were gonna wear um that suit for one mission. 
Uh, I will. I don't know. I don't. You will another time. <laughs> yeah, definitely another time. Yeah. I think you just want to get Widow up there more in terms of power level because she's. She's my second power highest. Yeah. So you want to get her even. You want to get her up on Thor's level. Mm hmm. Why is it taking so long to go to the hell carrier? Don't know. There you go. Okay, it didn't take super long. Too good. I forgot there's this other vendor over here too. Well, yeah, I got to take a look at that real quick. There's another robot here. We've got more stuff. I need more. Let's take a look at what I can get from in there real quick. I'll buy that from I wanted that couple Oh, I think I get the... Hold on. Look at something real quick. I just got the Arctic Commander suit. Oh, from Cap, nice. With from the uh, what the um, cosmetic um, all the coffee ladies. Uh, no, hold on. The cosmetic creation. Oh, you found you had a pattern in there? Yeah. Fabrication machine, yeah. Oh, I better check to see why I have a pattern. Oh, I don't have this suit yet? I'll buy that. Then. I didn't know it. I didn't have the genius small suit. Okay. Oh, I do now. I can't believe I didn't have that suit. Oh, because it's a legendary. Ooh, that's cool. So she's got like a sweatshirt. I like that. I really like the small outfit. Got like an Iron Man arc reactor. Sure. Alright, I gotta go down to fabrication. I had no idea you had a pattern. Because we've been doing DNA chests, and I figured like you, you didn't say anything about having a pattern. So I didn't know had one. Oh, uh. Yeah, I don't have any patterns, so it's just you got some. Maybe you just didn't look and you didn't know you had them. You must have gotten enough one of those DNA chests and not realized it. Mm -hmm. We need another mission that we can go to and get good gear.
getting sleepy? A little bit. Not time yet, bud. Mm. Solid eight hours. <laughs> I mean, it is almost. It is twelve thirty, so it is getting a little late. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Thought you liked staying up though. I do sometimes, but sometimes I just get tired. We'll do this one. There's usually pretty good gear from these mm -hmm. factions. Wait, I think that's my Iron Man. Is it? It might be. Up here. I'll be there in a second. How
Oh, here. Oh. We don't want to leave those people stranded out there. Please hurry. Oh, the chest right here. Oh, it's over here. You were up right with me, but you. Yeah, I, I, I heard over here, and it was like. And if for some reason it brought me to cap when I thought it was you calling me. I tried to then. No, that's my Iron Man, because that's my suit. It's oh. not your same suit. That's the original sin armor. That's what right, you get so that must you. be my captain. Well, yeah, because we both have the same cap and the same suit. It just depends what the nameplate for is for him and then what is, um... What should we call it? If I go to social, will it show me what my plan is? Yeah, well, oh, it's my cap. It's my cap and my Iron Man. It's both of my people. Because I have that same suit. But you don't have my special cap nameplate. That's how I hit with my cap. I saw the nameplate. Yep, you jump up there, and then I think it's the next one. I'm trying to figure out how to get up. There you go. Comic. Units. Fireman. Any other? Oh, there's another question like this way. I'm guessing that's not a campfire. Yeah. Oh wait, I just remembered something about this mission. Isn't this the mission with the fire adaptoids? I and don't know. And we're playing lower level characters? Wait, who's at the... Who was at the objective? I, will, the I was for a second. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I found an enemy unit. On oh, here. Let me come. You want it? No! What was that? The inhumans are holed up in an old bunker, but watchdogs are closing in. Alright, you all stay back. We'll head in. Why did the screen go black? Why am I over here? I was I was a be careful in there. I'd object looks like aim gifted the button some new toy. What kind of toys are we talking? I'm guessing big explosive fire. Oh, there's a chest. Oh Oh you were like it threw the ground. Your legs are like glitching to the ground for some reason. I don't know why, but I thought that I was like, oh, dude. There's an elite aim unit near you. Defeat them, and you may gain something useful. Far too many of them. Watchdog with a shield, okay. You want to I can swing up here while I'm in biggin mode. That's awesome. I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna probably call it after this mission. Getting pretty sleepy. Mmm. No worries. Yeah, I was waiting to see if Jimbo was going to come back on. But if he doesn't come back on, I'll probably just do my one heroic gauntlet. When you leave, and I'll probably go to bed. 
Mm-hmm. Or I'll turn on TV and just be done gaming. Question mark. There's one right over here. We're really close to it. Yep. There's two over here. Good, good, she's checking. Oh, well, my six little. Oh, now the panels work. They didn't work last time, but they work now. Fixed it. Oh. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to focus on this. Chest is open. Let me see where you are. Oh, I need your help with the panel up top. I'm coming. There's a, there's a pad thing that only Widow can, Widow and Iron Man can do. Coming. No worries, I'll wait for you. Be patient. Ooh, 42. Yes, please. Alright, I am here. That's good to hear. Open the thing. Okay. So oh, there's a chest up here. Okay, let me see if I'll be able to. Just to hide you. There you go. Ooh, objective complete challenge. Oh, I uh, open all chests has been complete, which means I got or they just gave me a lot of stuff. Oh nice that one's done. So now I'm on the name plate stage. Oh right here. Oh, okay. There you go. Get what you needed? Yeah. Where's the next question mark? I'm heading toward the one over here. What's going on? Okay, good night. Now the chest is weird. Yeah, just me. What does it mean, complete? Did that happen? I don't remember that being completed. Chapters, maybe? Eight. Okay. So we have 50 of those. Okay, so this is now. Okay, lots of treasure open done. Coming 
Went down. I didn't. Got a vault from there. Oh, that's 
not be a week long, what about it? Kimbo said that these walls, one of them breaks. But maybe it's not just cash. Maybe, oh no, that looks like a weak wall. Yep, there we go. Got resources. Got everything down here. Got a purple view. I use my healing spirit, so you can't bring me down. That's the cool thing, Jake. As soon as I'm, I'm using Kamala, anytime that um, one of my teammates is down, I can use the healing spirit to revive myself. I'm gonna go down right away. Down. Crap. Or down. Crap. Oh. Capital Gitter. Alright, I'm going for you. A 
Would you go down again? Someone gets you up and then you run down twice. Are you guys fight are you guys fighting the fire or death or it's already is that why? Yeah, kind of, yeah. I'm over here now, no worries. Maybe I'm gonna fight Oh, high five. I figured you're alive. Got no resources. Don't mind me, I'm not trying to run away. I'm just trying to run mode. Build up abilities and then plan my attack. I'll go through and spear it back alive. Two stars, not amazing, but whatever. Alright. Magic did his little nap. Mm. Alright. Dude, I'll see you tomorrow. Let me just take a look at my gear and then I'll... Welcome, enjoy your dread, dread not blueprints. <laughs> That's funny. Cryo bands 143. Nice. We have to like that. Uh, 